Hi and welcome back to our daily current affairs videos. A very good evening to all of you. I hope you all are doing good. You all by now already know about our RBI Grade B crash course. So do uh, try and see if you need it to boost your preparation to get a more personalized guidance and you know ensure a sure sure shot uh, selection to the services. All right. So of course download our app to access our daily quizzes, exam updates, live video sessions, monthly GK, pre previous uh, question papers and topper strategy. All right, everything in one app in your phone, you have to be updated 24 seven for these exams, right? Uh, you you don't have to just sift uh, table or chair, pe bhi ke padhai nahi hoti. you can, you know, study smartly. All right, do download our app, access it, make a proper strategy get connected with one of our mentors and just start studying all right so uh, let's before we uh, discuss with our mcqs today uh, let me tell you a very very important news for today it is that access bank limited has agreed to buy city banks consumer business in india for 12 uh, 12325 crore rupees or 1.6 billion dollars in cash so after this acquisition, Access Bank would become the third largest private sector bank in India, right? Access Bank was formed uh, as UTI Bank originally. It was formed as UTI Bank, it, right? But in 2007, in 2007, it changed its name to Access Bank, all right? Current uh, MD and CEO of uh, Access Bank is Amitabh Chaudhary. All right, and its chair, chairman is Mr. Rakesh Makhija. Okay, so uh, Axis Bank today is the fourth largest issuer of credit cards in the country with 8.6 million credit cards. Okay, so this is all mergers, merger and acquisition say, ye sare benefits and profits honge Axis Bank with 3 million consumer base in, of Citibank will go directly to Axis Bank. Okay. 2.5 million credit card holders right credit card customer base of access bank will further increase to 31 percent all right right now it already is the largest uh, fourth largest issuer of credit cards it will further increase to 31 percent right 1.1 trillion of aum from city wealth and private banking it will go to access bank all right, so all this you can read it. It is major credit card player. Subse zada credit card issue konsa bank karta. It is HDFC Bank, right? Then you have SBI card, ICICI Bank. Fourth largest is Axis Bank, and the third largest is City Bank. City Bank is an Indian subsidiary of City Group. City Group is headquartered in New York. All right, and City Bank is its Indian subsidiary. It is a financial consumer-based subsidiary of a larger financial institution of New York, that is Citigroup. All right. So let's start with the first question of today. We have which of the following states provides the highest wage per day under Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Act? Okay. This was enacted in the year 2005 to secure every person's right to work. Right. It is a legislative enactment, right? It, it secures the right to work. So, is se aap kya samajhte ho? That right to work through this act has now become a legal entitlement. Right? We will discuss more about this scheme. First, answer the question quickly. Which of the following states provides the highest wage per day under this scheme? Right? The correct answer here is Haryana. Now, Ministry of Rural Development has increased the wage rate under subsection 1 of section 6 of uh, this Act, Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Act. And this increase in wage rate will be effective from 1st of April 2022. All right. So, 21 states go less than 5% increment mila and then only 10 states have received an increment of more than 5%. And the first state is Haryana. Okay. Then, Chhattisgarh. MP, Bihar, Jharkhand, Jammu, Kashmir, Lakshwadeep, Karnataka, Kerala, Goa. 
okay and uh, remaining 30 uh, 21 states have received an increment but less than 5% so let's see increment kis basis pe provide kiya jata hai number 1 it is consumer price index agriculture label ka jo estimate aata hai wage rates in uh, this uh, under the scheme is fixed on cpi al right consumer price index you know is a basket of all the retail prices right this basket affects the purchasing power of every consumer directly राइट एंड कंज्यूमर प्राइस इंडेक्स को काफ़ी सारे बेसिस uh, पे कैलकुलेट किया जाता है राइट इंडस्ट्रियल वर्कर के लिए एक सी आता है एग्रीकल्चर लेबर एंड रूरल लेबर के लिए एक सी आता है देर इज़ अ सी पी आई फॉर नॉन मैनुअल अर्बन एम्प्लॉयज राइट अर्बन पीपल हु आर मोर इंडल्ज इन टू सर्विस सेक्टर राइट फॉर एग्जाम्पल सॉफ्टवेयर इंडस्ट्री और यू नो this is urban non employ non manual employment all right so all this come is calculated for cpi all these are the parameters in which cpi is calculated differently okay so five states with the highest wage rates number 1 is haryana kerala karnataka andaman nicobar and five states with the lowest wage rates are tripura bihar jharkhand छत्तीसगढ़ एंड मध्य प्रदेश और राइट सो महात्मा गांधी नेशनल रूरल एम्प्लॉयमेंट एक्ट फर्स्ट इट इज़ इम्पॉर्टेंट टू यू नो दैट इट गारंटीज हंड्रेड डेज ऑफ एम्प्लॉयमेंट हंड्रेड डेज ऑफ पेड एम्प्लॉयमेंट टू एवरी एडल्ट राइट फ्रॉम एवरी सिंगल हाउस होल्ड और राइट हु इज वॉल्टियरिंग टू वर्क ही और शी शुड बी वॉल्टियरिंग टू वर्क इन अनस्किल्ड मैनुअल लेबर और राइट unskilled manual labor okay 33% of the jobs 33% of the uh, paid daily wage work it is employed for women all right and another very important objective of this act is to create assets asset creation is also one of the major highlights of the act all right so it is a very very important social security and employment guarantee scheme one of the most important and the largest scheme in the world do read more about it okay second question we have which state has launched a unique initiative to give personal loans to prisoners right prisoners ko personal loans dene ka unique initiative kaun se state ne launch uh, state ne launch kiya hai right so if you are planning to get imprisoned in future you should target for that state jokes apart which state has launched a unique initiative to give personal loans to prisoners you have options tamil nadu andhra pradesh odisha maharashtra or karnataka right the correct answer you have here is maharashtra okay very very important jail in maharashtra yerawada central jail in pune pune pact pune pact in 1932 very important pact it was signed here in yerawada jail between mahatma gandhi and dr b r ambedkar on the issue of separate electorate all right so anyway you should learn and know more about national movement our leaders and struggle it is your duty to learn about it all right but in your spare time right now you should be focusing on uh, mcqs and rbi exam now maharashtra government it has launched a scheme to provide personal loans to prisoners right isse iska main objective kya hai to help the families of the inmates all right so jitne bhi wahan pe imprisoned log hain if they are the sole earning member of, of of their family right they will give personal loans to them so that the families can sustain themselves right this is what पर्सनल लोन इज ऑल अबाउट पर्सनल लोन में क्या आ जाता है आपका कंजम्पन एक्सपेंडिचर राइट एक्सपेंडिचर ऑन हेल्थ एंड एजुकेशन राइट ऑल दीज आर कैटेगराइज अंडर पर्सनल लोन इन दिस केस ऑल राइट सो द लोन्स विल बी गिवन आउट बाई महाराष्ट्र स्टेट कोऑपरेटिव बैंक एंड इट विल बी बेस्ड ऑन द इनकम ऑफ द इनमेट ऑल राइट द पर्सनल इनकम ऑफ द इनमेट ऑन दैट बेसिस द लोन्स विल बी डोल्ड आउट right maximum loan limit is 50000 and the interest rate is 7% so even if they fail to repay the loan earlier they are already in prison so what's the harm 
विच स्टेट हैज लॉन्च विनय समारस्य योजना विनय समारस्य योजना कौन से स्टेट ने लॉन्च किया है प्लीज आंसर द क्वेश्चन करेक्टली वेदर इट इज झारखंड वेदर इट इज छत्तीसगढ़ राजस्थान कर्नाटका आंध्र प्रदेश जल्दी से इसको आंसर करिए सो दैट वी कैन मूव ऑन टू द एक्सप्लेनेशन द करेक्ट आंसर हियर इज द स्टेट ऑफ कर्नाटका स्टेट ऑफ कर्नाटका हैज लॉन्च विनय समारस्य योजना एज अ पार्ट ऑफ इट्स ट्वेंटी बजट द स्कीम इज नेम्ड नेम्ड after a child named vinay right a 3 year old child whose family has uh, tolerated discrimination social boycott and you know temple entry issues all these issues are there so karnataka government has announced announced to launch this scheme this yojana which is an awareness program to remove untouchability in gram panchayat right you all know about our preamble you all know about our indian constitution and fundamental rights i assume that you should know about it right so article 17 article 17 of fundamental right it aims to abolish untouchability right Pra any kind of practice of untouchability is a punishable criminal offence right and to legislate to legally enforce this provision iske liye bahut sare legal enactments bhi uh, launch kiye gaye hain by the government right one of the one of the most important legislation uh, legislative measures is sc and st uh, prevention of atrocities act right prevention of atrocities act which was launched which was enacted in the year 2007 do read about it the scheme will be launched on ambedkar jayanti the birth date of dr bhimrao ambedkar on april 14 he was one of the most important leaders who uh, you know carried out a mass movement in uh, known as your mahar movement mahar movement in 1928 was a very important movement uh, in the history of untouchability because that led to mass conversions of thousands of dalits to buddhism all right so that is why the scheme is being launched on ambedkar jayanti april 14th all right it has been named after a 3 year old boy vinay we have already discussed about it okay so next question how many countries from shenzhen area uh, form this shenzhen area right shenzhen area is a very important economic union or a union type of a thing right a boundary less state right where citizens where people to people exchange it does not require a long term restrictive process or a regulatory process like visa entitlements okay or other such approvals like in covid 19 outbreak many countries uh, imposed restrictions from international travelers unless uh, they had to produce uh, vaccination certificates they had to produce recovery certificates from the covid 19 all right so that is why uh, one country from this area has been in news recently and that is why you are facing this M mcq All right. So, how many countries together form this Shenzhen area? Is it thirteen, twenty-six, ten, thirty, fifteen? The correct answer here is twenty-six countries. You can look at this map. This is an old map. All right. Why this is an old map? Because it is showing UK as a member of EU. Right now, present state, presently UK is not a member of. European Union all right so uh, Shenzhen area is made up of countries who allow citizens to travel across the international borders without requiring any visa or other such document all right it was signed in the year 1985 in the city of Shenzhen in Luxembourg and it came into force 10 years later right and currently 26 european countries including members from eu eu and members who are also not a part of eu both have signed to this agreement right and the main aim is to abolish passport and border control right why this is a news these days because recently latvia latvia has said that okay countries who are signatory to the schengen agreement they can enter latvia and it has done away with covid 19 protocol that required citizens to produce vaccination certificates or to produce 
what vaccination certificates or recovery certificates from covid 19 all right so this is an important uh, step neither ukraine nor russia are a part of this agreement and it has nothing to do with russian ukraine crisis of course kya ho gaya anyway so let's have a look at this map again let's have a look at this map again norway iceland and liechtenstein and switzerland these are the four non eu countries that are also signatory to this agreement right and now the list also includes united kingdom all right so this is the entire map of schengen area it, you can remember it this way that in, it includes all of the baltic countries here is a very important sea known as baltic sea right and these are all your baltic countries these are also a part of schengen area okay so how much stake has idbi bank recently sold to ages insurance international nv in ages life federal life insurance company afli right idbi has sold stakes to ages uh, insurance uh, international nv right earlier IDBI formed a joint venture with Aegis Aegis Insurance right a 52 by 49 equity based joint venture in the year 2015 i guess just confirm it all right recently it has again sold some stake to Aegis Life Insurance now that amount is 25% all right 25% stake has been sold to Aegis Federal Life Insurance so in december 20 20 uh, it already sold a 23% stake to the joint venture all right and after that it was known as idbi federal idbi ages federal okay idbi ages federal is no is headquartered in the city of mumbai right and it is a joint venture between idbi and ages federal life insurance right the stake of ages has recently been increased to 49% so ages is actually a, a brussels Be belgium based uh, general insurance company all right that has partnered with idbi bank idbi bank you know it is the industrial development bank of india okay it is a very very important bank uh, that has that has roots for many other banks that we see today be it sidbi right चाहे वो सिड भी हो गया या एक्सिम बैंक हो गया ऑल दीज वर ओरिजिनली अ पार्ट ऑफ आई डी बी आई बैंक राइट दे ओरिजिनली हैव द रूट इन आई डी बी आई बैंक ओके मूविंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड वी हैव विच पेमेंट सर्विस प्रोवाइडर हैज लॉन्च टैप टू पे फॉर यूपीआई राइट अर्ली ऑफ यूज टू हैव this option in debit and credit cards where you have to just tap on the point of sale machine and then aapke phone mein otp ya password aata tha and then you used to enter it or approve it right and the transaction was successful right it is in high traffic uh, point of sale uh, machines right with high traffic of transaction this tap to pay option is very very fast secure right so it is a seamless convenience of tap to pay which payment service provider has launched it right amazon pay bharat pay phone pay paytm google pay google pay has launched tap to pay google pay has partnered with pine labs it has partnered with pine labs labs to launch tap to pay facility right earlier it was only available for cards all right so this is the news there is no need to scan qr code or enter upi linked mobile number that is the benefit of it all right so just imagine guys digital payments are uh, escalating to a new level right everyone is using digital transaction even for the smallest of the smallest transaction so you can understand that only in the month of december 2021 right only in one month the transaction for digital payments was rupees 8.6 lakh crore just imagine that is a big big deal right 
so moving on to the next question we have which of the following companies has launched vault program industries first digital consumer engagement and rewards program okay so vault program kaun si company ne launch kiya hai answer the question quickly aditya birla insurance broker brokers hdfc ergo general insurance bharti aksa general insurance bajaj alliance edel wise general insurance company right the options are really good and tricky answer it the correct answer here is hdfc ergo general insurance right hdfc ergo general insurance ye kya hai hdfc bank aur ek ergo general insurance ergo is a german based insurance companies company right and hdfc ergo general insurance is is the second largest insurance provider for accidental and health insurance all right it was approved by irdai all right irdai is an insurance regulatory authority of india it is a regulatory body all right it licenses insurance companies insurance and reinsurance companies okay so point kya hai iska ki world program it will give reward points to people who buy optima restore health insurance policy all right this is actually a promotion uh, scheme by a business entity all right and that is all that you need to know about it this world program is actually encourages people to buy optima restore health insurance scheme to avail these reward points all right it is a joint venture between hdfc and munich re group of germany all right which bank has partnered with quick id to implement its digital kyc video kyc and e kyc for expansive network across india all right kaun se bank ne quick id ke sath partner karke digital video and e kyc ko promote kiya hai right digital e kyc e kyc will do what it will promote people to uh, carry an e kyc without going to the bank without filling out a form and going through all the hassles and paperwork right digital kyc is far far much simpler and a faster process right to so central bank of india central bank of india is the largest and the oldest nationalized bank of our country that has pan india presence all right right now the government of india is merging divesting most of its central bank except this uh, most of its nationalized bank except the central bank of india right is ke headquarters ka it is headquartered in mumbai all right so quick id it is the first ever ai based fully uh, compliant video kyc solution right earlier what for kyc you had to go to the bank get yourself and your papers verified uh, with the banker and and you had to wait for at least one or two days to get your kyc approved all right but e kyc is a much quicker way where the concerned authorities will, will access you through video call right you can upload all your papers and address proofs digitally all right so it is an ai based fully compliant video kyc solution right quick id is a flagship product of think think 360 ai right it is a full stack ai firm and its co-founder is mr amit das right ai se kya matlab hai artificial intelligence artificial intelligence it is the fourth industrial revolution today right world economic uh, forum considers artificial inter- intelligence as the first fourth industrial revolution right so it is very very important to upgrade the indian economy and our technology systems and innovations right and our skill base to the current uh, uh, artificial intelligence and other related uh, skills re- like deep learning machine learning data analytics right rbi's wholly owned subsidiary bharatiya reserve bank note mudran private limited has set up an ink manufacturing unit in mysuru all right bharti reserve bank note mudran private limited has two new in manu- ink manufacturing units one of which 
is in Mysuru. Write what is the name of this unit. Right, you have to guess the answer. You have options Varnika, you have options Mudra, Mohar, Rupaya, and Roshan. Okay, so the correct answer here is Varnika. Varnaka ka matlab kya hota hai? Purity of gold, right? It comes from the Hindi word Swarnika, right? Swarnika means gold, Swarn Mudra, right? From that the word comes here as gold, purity of gold. Okay, so the Bharatiya Reserve Bank note, Mudran Private Limited has launched a new center in Mysuru. Another center is also in Karnataka. Find it out what that center is, right? And write it down in the comments below. Okay, it is an annual ink manufacturing capacity of 1500 million tons, right? 1500 million tons se kya matlab hua? 16 billion, 16 billion paper notes and currencies it has printed annually, right? It has printed annually with on a two shift basis, right? It, it wants it to achieve 100% self-sufficiency. RBI wants to achieve 100% self-sufficiency in banknote manufacturing in the country. Okay, so this is what it is about. Another currency press note, RBI ke two important currency press notes. Hai. Two very important currency press notes by the RBI are in Madhya Pradesh. Uh, sorry, uh, one is in Nasik right another one is i'm forgetting the name one of them is in nasik all right you should find you should be able to find it out ki dusra wala kahan pe hai and mention it down in the comments rbi governor shaktikant das also led the foundation for learning and development center right Learning and Development Center kya hai? A capacity building program hai to augment human resource capacity in currency production, right? To emerge as a global center of excellence, right? Kyo? Because it wants to achieve self-sufficiency in currency note press. It hit the world record in 2016 and 17 by publishing the largest amount of currency in the world, right? Especially after demonetization. Right, so it is being established by Banknote Paper Mill India, right, and Security uh, Printing and Minting Corporation of India, which is a mini Ratna category one company. Who is the chairman of Payments Council of India? Payments Council of India ka chair kon hai? Please answer the question. Vishwas Patel, Prabhat Kumar Tripathi, Amarendra Tiwari, Ajay Kumar or S.B. Naithani. Okay, so the current chairman of Payments Council of India re-elected, he has been re-elected as a chair, he is Vishwas Patel, right? And the co-founder or co-chair is Praveena Rai. Okay, he, who is also the chief operating officers of National Payment Corporation of India. Okay, it is an apex body for digital operators. Basically, payment councils of India, SA payment apps code recognize kardi or non-banking payment system. All right, India's first payments and settlement system operates under the ages of Internet and Mobile Association of India. Okay, so thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope it was useful to you guys. Right, I hope you learnt a lot of things. These slides, the content that we provide is awesome. It will help you a lot in your preparation. Right, read, go through the content two to three times a day. Right, just a thirty-first ke aaj ke current affairs and you revised it two to three times. We have made it short enough so that you are able to revise it. Do it on a daily basis and you will surely clear the RBI exam at least the general awareness sec section. Alright, thank you so much for watching, keep studying, take care and bye bye.